Manchester United haven't won the Premier League since 2013 and they haven't won the Champions League since 2008. Their most recent trophy is the Carabao Cup and that just isn't good enough for the world's biggest club. Today, I'm going to be managing Manchester United with new owners at the helm who want to make United the best club in the world once again. And these new owners are totally backing us in the transfer market as we have one billion to spend. And we've got to be careful we don't waste that money on buying below average players because it will cost us in the future. But let's take a look at the team we've got to work with in Season 1 and where we can improve. So overall, the United team does look pretty strong, but of course, there is a few key areas that does need improvements. And now let's take a look at the striking options we do have. We have Anthony Martial and Veghorst, and I think both players just don't have a long-term future here. What we're building, what we're planning, these two just won't make the team. And there we go then, signing number one, Victor Rossi, man, 72 million from Napoli. I think an amazing purchase and a player for the future. And okay, so we just get a player check from Marcus Rush of saying it's nice to see new signings. However, if this new signing does impact his game time, we'll have to think about his future and he might leave the club. But it's time for our next signing, Drew Bellingham for 90 million from Dortmund. He had loads of clubs to choose from, but he chose us. And so after that signing, we did manage to get some players out of the club as well. Maguire, McTominay, again, players that we want to move on. But overall, I'm really happy with business we did in the summer window. Of course, a lot more signings to come, but so far, I want to test the rest of the players and see which ones are worth keeping and which ones we could sell in the January window. And now it's time to get into the new season and it was crucial we got off to a good start to impress the new owners. Okay, I'm going to be honest, this isn't the start we wanted. Giving away a penalty already. De Gea? Hey, yeah. Okay, didn't save that one. Already a goal down. Well, here we go, Bellingham, possibly a chance to release Marcus Rashford on the left-hand side. Aussie man's making a run, but Rashford into the centre, maybe finish Rashford. Ronaldo Fernandez plays it forward, Aussie M out to the right, actually. Anthony's free and available. Anthony, we're trying maybe cut this back. Casemiro to finish that one. There we go. Goal number one. Casemiro is the goal scorer. Oh, All right, man. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. Round this forest defense. Aussie man to finish this one, and of course he does. There we go. Only just joined the club. Scored in his first game. Oh, look at Rashford. Look at the space. He's got to, got to run into. Players available. Aussie man running with him. Aussie man going to take the chance. And he does, and he makes it two in two at his new team. Fernandez forwards. Sabitza going to play it back to Fernandez. Just looking at a few passing options here. We get one. Casemiro's going to strike it. Why not? Why not? That guy can finish. And what a goal that was. And there we go. We couldn't have got off to a better start in the Premier League. Four wins out of four. But up next, we've got Europa League action to be honest, I expect us to get out of this group fairly easy. Okay, Anthony, you know what? I think it's best just to lay this one off. Aussie men are number nine. Can finish this one. And off the post, Anthony should have been ready. Anthony should have been ready. Fernandez this time. And he makes no mistake. He gets in the back of the net. Our first goal in the Europa League. But there we go. Our first game in the Europa League does end 1-0. But I'm just glad. Three points. Just what we needed. But unfortunately for us, our good run didn't last for long. I'm going to be honest. This isn't how I wanted to start this game. Saka with a penalty. De Gea, man. De Gea, I'm seriously thinking about replacing him because what, what, what is he doing there? Okay, come on. We've got to be catching Trossard. We've got to be catching Trossard. He's not exactly the fastest player, really, is he? Saka, of course, meets him in the box. How? How is this happening? And if that Arsenal result wasn't enough after the game, Marcus Rashford injured and out for up to three months. And the bad luck didn't stop there as next we're taking on Liverpool at Anfield. Oh, Salah, what a ball. Firmino. Wow, okay. Pulling out all the skill. Pulling I'm sick. I'm sick of De Gea. He really just isn't helping himself with conceding a goal like that. And so after that defeat to Liverpool, that does leave us in third place. 27 points. Level on points of Arsenal, but Liverpool and Spurs on a couple of points behind us. But in the Europa League, like I mentioned, I pretty much expect us to go through. Four games in, we're on 10 points. And so just looking at some fixtures we've got coming up, we've got Man City, we've got Chelsea in some other tough games, and no Rashford in the team who is in amazing form. We're going to struggle. Oh, look at this straight away. Haaland running on through. You're just not going to stop him. You're just not going to stop him. De Gea didn't stand a chance. Our defence didn't stand a chance. City already lead 1-0. I'm sorry, but there's no way. Kane should be through on goal. Okay, De Gea, we're going to have to have serious conversation about this guy in the next window because is he saving anything at the moment? Okay, Kane once again. I'm just going to... Does it? it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because oh, the goalkeeper just doesn't do anything. But finally, one player did step up in Marcus Rashford's absence to finally get us a win. Oh, here we go. Play the pass. Pass inside. Aussie man. Anthony, Anthony finishes that and he does finish that. Finally a goal. It feels like forever since we've scored. But there goes full time. Chelsea down to 10-9, but we finally get a win. It feels like so long since we've got three points. And now here's an update on the table. Third place still. Luckily, after we went on that bad run of form, but Spurs and Arsenal aren't far behind. And to my surprise, in the Europa League, we finished in second place. We're associated with beating us. Next round, we're taking on Ajax. But I do think we need to have a serious conversation about David De Gea. This guy, again, 88 rated, but it just isn't playing like an 88 rated 
frustrating keeper, letting in too many easy goals. But we still have to wait another four weeks till Marcus Rashford is back into the team. I feel like the team is starting to recover a little bit, but still we could really use him. And to be fair, Timber only cost us 46 million, already 81 rated and loads of potential to grow. I've just noticed we're through to Carabao Cup final, taking on Spurs, but I'm hoping that isn't the only trophy we win this season. Oh, look at this for a chance. This is a great chance. Aussie man just able to get us 1-0 in front of Ajax and he does do that. Of course he does. And get past these. We've got a good chance of winning this. So good news, we do get past Ajax and we make it to the round of 16 and we're taking on Monaco. And more good news is Marcus Rashford is now finally back from his injury and he's just in time for the Carabao Cup final. Oh, what a ball. Aussie man finds Rashford who's just driving into the centre of Marcus Rashford. What a strike. Back from his injury and of course back on the score sheet. But there we go. Only the one goal in that one but Marcus Rashford of course stepping up. I told you how important he was to this team and we win our first trophy. And there we have it in trophy number one at the club but of course the owners want to strive for bigger and better trophies and we've got to deliver. And talking of bigger and better trophies next we had Monaco in the Europa League. Yeah this is where we fall short. This is literally where we fall short in defence because our centre backs are just really really not fast enough. Okay come on Mitrovic we've got to stop him we know all about him okay okay monaco tune it up and not much time to go in the second leg i mean come on mitrovic isn't the fastest of strike someone slide Wow, De Gea. De Gea, right, we're done. We're done. Season two, that guy is gone. That guy is the first player that we are selling because how has he let that go in? And wow, there we go. That's how it ends against Monaco. I don't know what went on. I don't know how we struggled against them. And it's safe to say the new owners are not happy that we got knocked out to Monaco in the round of 16. However, our aim this season was to finish in our Champions League place and currently second, level on points to Liverpool. Okay, hang on a second. I've just noticed Ossiham is injured. When did this happen? Because he wasn't injured when we played Monaco unless he got subbed off. I don't know. Oh, but he's injured. Let's check how long for. Okay, this isn't great. He's out for two months. So he's pretty much going to miss the end of the season. And we're fighting for top four. How many goals has he scored? That's right. 26 goals. This guy... We need him. So it looks like then Marcus Rashford is going to be our striker for the rest of the season. Can he do it? Can he get us Champions League football for next season? Sancho, maybe a simple ball for Rashford. He's in. Rashford, maybe. Actually, you know what? Sancho, finish that. Finish that, Sancho, and does. There we go. First goal. Come on, top four. We can do this. Oh, Gabriel Jesus. Looks like Arsenal are serious about top four as well. Let's do breakthrough. Gabriel Jesus looks like he might get Arsenal a point in this. Okay, so Brighton now. Okay, got a penalty. De Gea, please. Okay, okay, fair play. You know what, McAllister, he can do that. He's won a World Cup. Oh, you know what, Fernandez feed it. Rashford, please. Rashford, we need this, and he does. Come on, come on. I know it's Brighton. Just get the three points if we can, and just move on. Oh, Rashford, this has to be you. This has to be you, please. Rashford, you know what? Make it easy for yourself. There we go. Last couple of games, giving away too many points. This time, we can't afford to. Perfect chance, Rashford. Sancho, and he makes it 2-0. 2-0 against Spurs at home. Yeah, th this is definitely a win. And there we have it then. The end of our first season here at United. Finishing second place, only two points behind Man City. But of course, our only trophy this season, the Carabao Cup. And to be honest, I expected much more. I think it's safe to say, going into next season, we have to improve this team. We've got to win better silverware. And before we finish off, here's our top scorers. Flanders, 27. Hossiemen, 26. Could have had more without the injury. But Rashford, I thought he was playing better. But only 10 goals, 4 assists. Might have to think about that. And so here we are in season two with a team finally fully fit. We've got no injuries right now. Let's check how much is in the budget. Okay, so left over from the billion pounds that we got given, there's still 650 million. And I think it's safe to say this team, even though we spent quite a bit of money already bringing some amazing players, there is still a lot of room for improvement. Okay, to be honest, this is not how I expected to start season two. We get a message from the owner, the new owners at United saying, hi Tom, we need to be clear. We hired you to, you know, win us major trophies. We gave you a billion pounds and you haven't won us one yet. We expect one in season one and our manager rating is looking close to being sacked and i mean to be honest they're not wrong we should have won something else that season europa league to go out to monaco is really poor and look at this team on paper it's not a bad side again look at the midfield and in the premier league we was only two points behind man city okay so just looking dean henderson's in goal i'm wondering where is De Gea? he must have left on a free and we only got dean henderson so we have to sign a new goalkeeper and now then we didn't waste any time we got a goalkeeper in straight away mike Mignon, our new number one for 93 minutes million and we was not messing around in this transfer window our second signing coming in Kim Min Jae from Napoli this guy a centre back with 90 plus pace and of course the signings weren't stopping there Ruben Neves the next player to come in of course Casemiro getting a little bit older now Ruben Neves can rotate with him and so quite a bit of our budget spent already but we do still have around about 300 million and just looking at the team again the midfield he's looking perfect to me of course now Neves on the bench Eriksen as well in the attack though the attack looks great in the start 11 but when you go down to the bench Martial and Sancho Sancho 
the bench is decent, but Martial, it isn't good enough. Okay, talking about attackers, Mbappe has just messaged us saying he's thinking about his next club. Currently 11 months left on his contract. We've got new owners and he's interested and he wants to compete with Haaland in the Premier League. And now just taking a look at Mbappe himself. He does have 11 months left, so PSG have to decide either let him go for free or sell him now and actually make some money. And this is it. This is the moment Mbappe is now a Manchester United player. Imagine the rivalry. United versus City, Mbappe versus Haaland. This guy cost us 160 million to bring him to the club. But of course, now the real question is, how is Marcus Rashford going to feel because he wants game time, Mbappe coming in, Mbappe's got to start. And now just looking at the team, Mbappe, I do believe he prefers playing off the left, so I'd probably rather start Mbappe on the left. This is the front line we're looking at, and then Aussie men, if he gets injured, Rashford comes in, or if Rashford rotates for Mbappe, Rashford on the right, it's got to look like this. And so with the owners breathing down on next for silverware and spending 400 mil in the window, it's crucial we get off to a good start in the Premier League. Or oh, Mbappe, what a touch, what a touch on the inside, gonna take it on his own, gonna take it on his own. Mbappe to finish this, what a goal, what a goal from our new number 7, Kylian Mbappe. I can't wait to use him this season, I want to see who wins out of him and Haaland in the Golden Boot race. Oh, what a ball, what a ball, Jogo Jota, come on, come on, we've signed a new centre back, Kim Min Jae, coming in handy. Oh, this is what we want to see, this is what we want to see, Aussie man, a chance to make it 2-0, and he does make it 2-0, there we go, that's got to be 3 points on opening day. And so what a great start we've got off to in the Premier League this season, once again, 4 wins out of 4, sitting top of the table. But now it's time at four the Champions League. This is what we need to win this season. Our group, Leverkusen, Villarreal, and Daniel Kiev. But as you can see, in a turn of events, Rashford currently two starts, four goals in all competitions. So Mbappe has cut rivalry for that position. Okay, up the left-hand side now, Bellingham. Looking to maybe get this on to Mbappe. He can finish from there, and he can finish from there. Six minutes in, another goal for killing Mbappe. Oh, and here we go, I see, man. Could he add his name to the score sheet? Aussie men to finish that one, and of course he does. I know I said this group would be easy, but I don't think it'd be as easy as this. All right, Mobile, come on, come on. We, have we had this all last season? Nope. Mike Mignon, De Gea wouldn't have saved that. Well, here we go, a big penalty. Mike Mignon, is he going to save this one? Mike Mignon! wrong way Leverkusen maybe just getting back into this can you believe it another another penalty that's right I'm guessing he's gonna go same thought he would have gone the same way no nope, and Mobile doesn't okay Leverkusen a square and there goes full time and unfortunately we had a draw in our first game and so with a draw against Leverkusen in the Champions League we had to make sure that that game didn't affect our form in the Premier League and of course West Brom yeah get a penalty come on Mike Mignon oh, middle. Okay, West Brom take the lead. Played Mbappe. Anthony just totally free. Totally free on this left-hand side. Anthony try and curl that one in. There we go. Anthony, what a goal on that left foot. And then we get a penalty of our own. Mbappe to take this one. I think we go top left. I think we just go top left. Smash it in. Mbappe, there we go. In front. Finally. Finally in front. Okay, ball falls. Mbappe. Aussie man finds him. Finish that one, Aussie man. There we go. Take the lead against Wolves. Again, we've got to get back-to-back -back wins here. All right, Mbappe just running on through. Could he add another goal? Already in the Premier League this season, Mbappe. What a goal. What a finish. I thought from that angle, might have hit the post or gone wide, but no, in the back of the net. And so it looks like we didn't have to worry about our form in the Premier League after all. Still top of the table and still unbeaten. And talking of the Premier League, top scorer right now, Skamaka and Mbappe are level. No sign of Haaland anywhere on this list. And just looking at our Champions League group, currently one win and one draw across the draw to Leverkusen. I do want to try and finish top of the group. And next game, Villarreal. Okay, this is an issue. Wow, okay. Williams just straight past. Mike Mignon, it's all down to you. To be fair, the defence the, the defense let him down there. Another chance from the spot. Fernandez is going to take this one. Going to go down the middle. Fernandez, come on. I know you normally go... Of course. Of course, of course, of course. And can you believe we fall to defeat to Villarreal, who haven't even picked up a single point in the group? And you're falling to defeat to Villarreal, who haven't picked up a point is bad enough. But Mike Mignon, he's not nothing serious, but seven days he's out. And now one thing I also noticed, Martinez, I'm thinking, where is he? Four months. He's been out since the start of the season. So with Chelsea up next, it's a good idea. Let's get Dean Henderson into the team. And it's also a good job we signed Kim Min Jae and also Timber, because Martinez, we won't see him till next year. So Henderson comes in. Let's hope we get the win against Chelsea. Unfortunately, before seeing that game, Chelsea do go ahead and get a 2-1 win. We do grab a late goal for Anthony, but it's not enough. And that's not the only game that we failed to get a win in Villarreal. A 2-1 win. That's back-to-back -back defeats in our group. Okay, so if it wasn't obvious already, we've got to win our remaining two games. We want to make it out of this Champions League group. Villarreal from nowhere ahead of us. Right, here we go, Mbappe. you just got to work your magic here. you just got to work your magic. Mbappe could just work his magic. Mbappe, what a goal. What a goal that is from killing Mbappe. This guy. This guy. Wow. Wow, here he is once again, Mbappe just trying to take on the whole team. This guy is on a one-man mission, and it falls to Anthony, who just can't do anything. Okay, Fernandez, Luke Shaw, just trying to get someone through on goal. Mbappe's there. 
Or we can work it inside. Can he do it? Of course he can. This guy. This guy. I mean, the best money we've spent so far. Okay, we can't afford to mess up. We can't afford to mess up here. Mike Mignon. Beat him. Leverkusen, just, just get a draw. Our, our Champions League hopes... I want a line. I'll see, man. Send him. Just send Mbappe running. He can do the rest. Mbappe, come on. This is it. This is it. Just get the just get the third goal. And ref, yes. I'll take that. I will take that penalty all day long. And who will vote in killing Mbappe to take it? Come on. Just go, we just got to score this right now. Top right corner. Mbappe, come on. Hat trick. <laughs> Saved. But there we go. Full time. We do get the win with Mbappe's amazing rainbow flick goal. But still, one more game to go. So straight away, we get a penalty. Mbappe is going to take this one. He is the man in form. Let's be honest. Scoring loads of goals. Mbappe, look at that. No mistake. First goal. And we need it. Okay, Aussie man. A little bit of a tight spot. Plays it to Mbappe. Could he score two? Mbappe to finish. Of course he does. Of course Mbappe does, man. Tune the up. Yeah, this is going perfect for us. And there we go. And this one ends 4-1. Fernandez and Aussie men get their names on the score sheet as well. And so thanks to that win, we just edge out of the group by a single point. But Villarreal, starting on zero points, suddenly finished top of the group. But we are now in the January transfer window. 21 games played in the Prem. Currently 50 points and now two points out of City as opposed to last season being two behind. And the bad news is, of course, there is always bad news. Diego Dallo out injured up to three months. And just looking at a replacement for Dalo, I mean, we got one Basaka, we're 82 rated, and then after that, yeah, it, it just isn't great. So, Dalo, 88, we're gonna miss him, it's gonna miss some crucial games. But we do still have 305 million in the budget, so again, improvements to the team, we could just make them. Okay, so with Diego Dalo being injured, I didn't want to risk it, I went ahead and brought in Masrawi. And so, overall, looking at the team, I think we're ready to start the second half of the season now, because of course, we do have two major injuries. Martinez will probably start a lot of the games, Diego Dalo, a regular starts at right back, both are injured for a long period the time. And also just having a look at the golden boot race, Mbappe's in third with 12 goals and Holland has finally made an appearance in eighth place with only 10. And so we've only just making out of our Champions League group. Our next game was against Juventus in the round of 16. We had to get this right. Oh, and this is what we want to see. Mbappe just knocked that forward. You're ahead. You're ahead. Mbappe to finish and of course he does. There we go. 1-0. Already leading against Juventus. What a ball. What a ball by the way from Pogba. Vlahovic, we've got no chance. Oh, wow. Okay, the crossbar absolutely saving us. Bellingham. Actually, you know what? Play that down. Could maybe look to return this to Bellingham. Unless Mbappe just fancies it on his own. Okay, you know what? Inside. Ossiman can finish that. And of course he does. He's played against Juventus many times. And this time is no different. Whipped in by Fernandez. Could get a header on that Mbappe. And off the crossbar. No, that could have been free. That would have been the job done here in this game. Anthony was still going. Maybe this time. Wow. Fernandez. Wow, freeing that up against Juventus. They don't stand a chance. And so in the end, we do get past Juventus quite easily. 6-2 over the two legs. And so a convincing win against Juventus. But up next, we're taking on Liverpool in the Champions League. And a team that could definitely knock us out. Okay, this could be the perfect start. Mbappe, great touch. Mbappe through the defence. Mbappe just one-on-one -on -one now with Alisson. Into the back of the net. There we go. The perfect start. Fernando is just trying to unleash one of our attackers. Done well. Mbappe once again. Just looking to curl that one round, Allison. He does just that. Now, turn that up at Anfield. Of course, it wouldn't be Liverpool without some sort of comeback, would it? Luis Diaz, we're just not catching him. We are just not catching him. But there goes full time in the first leg. 2 1. Definitely all to play for in the second leg. Okay, let's see what Mbappe. Actually, you know what? Ossie Men, totally free. Wide. This Liverpool defence is just wide open. Ossie Men doesn't finish. How? Mbappe, he's not making this mistake, surely. Mbappe isn't making that mistake into the back of the net. This guy, just a serial, serial winner. Okay, Liverpool now breaking into the defence. Jogo Gapo, okay. Simple, simple offside in the end. You know, you just get that feeling that Liverpool are just going to grab a goal back. I mean, they're very close to. Oh, no Salah. Okay, he's got options. Jogo Jota, I'm telling you, they're getting close. And if we do find ourselves with a penalty, Fernandez can just put this game to bed. Just put this game to bed, Fernandez. Get it in. 4 1 over the two legs. There we go. Job done. Fernandez definitely secured it. And so checking on the Premier League, we are top of the table, 74 points. But Man City, only one point behind us. But in the Champions League, we're into the semi-finals. This is where it gets really serious now. Taking on PSG, Chelsea taking on Barcelona. And of course, Mbappe against his former club, Ossiman. Mbappe taken down, actually. Mbappe. But Ossiman, that's the more important thing. Finds the back of the net. Mbappe fouled in the build-up. But it doesn't really matter because it results in a goal. And we are now into the second leg. Fernandez, what a ball. Mbappe, if we can just make this 2-0. Good chance we are making the final. Mbappe against his former club. Can't finish it. Can he second time? He can finish his second time. Mbappe makes it 2-0. Okay, the PSG are starting to play some decent football here. We've got to be careful. We don't give away a 2-0 lead. Soler. Wow. 
Wow, how, how Acadia scored and he's going to pick up the ball. They want to get level, but they don't get level and we do win 2-1 and we're through to the final. And so at least we are through to the Champions League final. We must win that. But first, Premier League, only two games to go and we're two points ahead of City. So we've got to win our final two games. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Burnley have started this game really well. We're struggling to sort of get the ball off them. They're playing so well. Company, it, company's team. Big horse up front, of course, who we haven't used. We let him go back to Burnley. Has now scored against us. Here we go. Killing Mbappe. Go on, Mbappe. Mbappe, please. Oh, come on. Here we go, Mbappe. He's just charging. Mbappe, come on. You normally get us out of situations like this. Is he going to this time, Mbappe? Of course he is. Of course he is. We are level with Burnley. Okay, here we go. We have got a penalty. If we score this and get three points, we could just win the Premier League with this penalty. Neves is standing over it, but Mbappe has scored in this one. Let's go, Mbappe. Come on. He's never let us down before. He's never let us down before. Here we go, Mbappe. Yes, into the top corner. No problem. 2-1 up now. And there we go. And the full-time whistle blows the 2-1 win against Burnley. It looks like we have won the Premier League title. Let's just find out for sure. And yes, we have done it. Ruben Neves is going to be the one to lift the trophy, who has played a number of games this season, massively helped us out. But that's not it. Next, we've got a Champions League final. And not only are we Premier League winners, Mbappe has won the Golden Boot as well. 26 goals in 38 matches. First season ever in the Premier League. And so it all came down to this final game in the Champions League. We've got given one billion to provide major success for Manchester United. Could we do it against Chelsea? Come on, here we go. Straight away. Let's just get Mbappe going. Mbappe is in the form of his life right now. 12 goals currently in the Champions League. In behind the defence. Just take your time. Finish it. What a save. Crossed over. Aussie men on the volley. There you go. No stopping that one. No stopping at all. One nil up. Oh, what a what an assist by Bruno Fernandes. Mbappe is away. Just keep going. Keep going. Take it carefully. Finish that now with power. Oh, there you go. What a goal. What a goal. Off the post, off the goalkeeper's head, into the back of the net. If that is the goal that wins us the Champions League, that is insane. Okay, Hudson Adoy. No, okay, yeah. Lukaku up front. He's not running past our defence, is he? I mean, we've got Kim Min Jae, our other centre backs. Yeah, we, we dealt with that. Bellingham. Let's see what he can do. Bellingham. You know what, Bellingham? Why not? Take it on. There you go. It's done. It is done. Bellingham, what a strike. What a goal. 3 0 up against Chelsea. 66 minutes in. <laughs> Yeah, we're amazing. Oh, look at this. Lukaku thinks he is... Yeah, he's not running anywhere, let's be honest. Out to the left. Hudson Adoy. Come on, we don't... Let's let's just get a clean sheet. Come in, Jay. What a block. And here it is. There's full-time. A 3-0 win against Chelsea in the Champions League final. And there we go. And all it took was new owners and two seasons to get Man United back as Premier League winners and Champions League winners. But there we go. And Bruno Fernandes, of course, lifting the trophy with the rest of the team. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop me a like down below. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next one.